So after been watching countless of videos promising improved gaming performance in Windows 11, I have been spending hours turning on and disabling different features in the hopes it would increase my frame rate. And ironically, it turned out to do nothing to speed up my gaming PC. Now, I decided I wanted to try and see if I can figure out how to improve and optimize my copy of Windows 11 for gaming. And to prove to you guys that the tips I'm about to share with you actually do anything, here is a side-by-side -side comparison showing the before and after results and what can be expected from following the tips I'm about to give you. Anyway, the first tip I recommend does come from Microsoft themselves and it involves turning off something called memory integrity as well as turning off something called virtual machine platform. A virtual machine platform or VMP provides core virtual machine services for Windows and memory integrity helps prevent hackers from injecting their own malicious code and helps ensure that all drivers loaded into the OS are signed and trustworthy. Now here is what Microsoft is saying. As part of the continuous testing and feedback from users, Microsoft has seen that in some scenarios and in some configurations of gaming devices, there may be performance impact with having memory integrity and VMP on. Gamers who want to prioritize performance have the option to turn these features off while gaming and turn them back off when finished playing. And here is how you turn both these features off. Select Start, Enter Core Isolation in the taskbar, then select Core Isolation from the list of results to open the Windows Security app. On the Core Isolation page, turn off the toggle for memory integrity and that's it. And here's how to turn off Virtual Machine Platform. Select Start, enter Windows Features in the search box. Find and unselect Virtual Machine Platform. Select OK and that's it. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks and build tutorials. Stick around till the end of the video where I'll be sharing a bonus tip to make your copy of Windows 11 fully optimized for gaming. The next thing I would recommend if you're struggling with consistent frame rate is to disable something called game mode. A game mode was first introduced back in 2017 with the promise of boosting game performance. The idea was that your computer will be able to detect games and give them priority over resources. And in theory this would lead to more stable frame rate which sounds fantastic right? But does it work in reality? The answer is that it really depends. If you're having a low-end potato gaming PC, then game mode may well improve the performance, but if you're having a newer gaming PC with more CPU and GPU bandwidth, it will be able to handle all the processes without negative consequences. So on these machines, you will be less likely to notice any difference. Now, Windows game mode is activated by default, but whether or not you should leave it that way is a complicated question to answer. If you are experiencing any issues when trying to play a game, issues such as poor frame rate, stuttering or crashes, then it might be worth turning it off. On the other hand, if you have a low-end PC with fairly limited processing power, then having game mode on may benefit you, so it's probably worth trying both settings and seeing which of these works best for you. Now, if you want to try and turn this feature off, press the start button, type the settings in the search box, and then select settings, choose gaming, and then game mode and then turn game mode on or off and that's it <laughs> the next tip i'm about to share with you might sound a bit controversial but hear me out here guys it is a common misconception to install a third-party antivirus on windows 11. yes there was a time when you needed a dedicated antivirus program to block malware and viruses However, Microsoft has actually upped their game on the security front. Nowadays, the built-in Windows security is actually more than enough to protect your Windows 11 PC. The problem with installing an alternative antivirus is that it can really slow down your PC. The antivirus software operates in the background with hash file checking, integrity checks and more and this can hamper your PC's performance. And so to keep your Windows 11 PC fast and snappy, I would say definitely avoid a third-party antivirus. 
Now, one of the best ways to get the most out of your PC is to make sure you have the latest version of Windows 11 installed. When you check for updates in Windows 11, you also search for the latest device drivers, which can also help improve your PC's performance. Now, to check for updates, select the start button, then select settings, Windows update, and check for updates. Besides that, I also recommend downloading the most recent graphics driver from your manufacturer. Both AMD and Nvidia offers an easy way to download their most recent GPU driver. And you'll actually find all the download links in the video description. Windows 11 includes many visual effects, such as animations and shadow effects. These visual effects look great, but they can also use additional system resources and can slow down your PC. This is especially true if you have a PC with smaller amount of RAM. If you have a gaming PC with only 6 or perhaps 8 gigs of RAM, this might be something worth turning off. To adjust the visual effects in Windows, select Search and type Performance. Then select Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows in the list of results. On the Visual Effects tab, select Adjust for Best Performance and then click Apply. As a bonus tip, I also recommend GPU overclocking as it can typically give you between 4 to 10 more FPS if you're lucky. Keep in mind guys, this can harm the hardware if you're not careful, but that said, I've been doing overclocking for my PC hardware for decades and I never damaged any of my gear. Just make sure you have sufficient cooling and don't rush anything. Simply go ahead and download MSI Afterburner and basically all you need to do is to increase both the memory and GPU clock speed in increments until you get a crash or you then increase the voltage a bit then repeat the process again. I actually have a video showing you exactly how this is done correctly and you find a video linked up down below. Finally, to really maximize Windows 11, if you have a Ryzen based gaming PC, you need to understand that there are ways to improve the performance and optimize your Ryzen CPU as well. Click or tap the screen to learn more how to boost your FPS even further.